And now in the second section, let's talk about his trial and execution man. Okay? So here I'm going to present to you the journey of Jose Rizal to Bagumbayan. So from his last homecoming to his trial and death. Okay. So uh, Jose Rizal is disregarded as one of the martyrs who sacrificed their lives, uh, their lives for the attainment of the rights of the Filipinos and the Philippine freedom. Martyrs usually suffer due to their religious faith and beliefs, but a martyr can also suffer persecution and death for advocating, renouncing, and refusing to advocate or renounce a belief as demanded by an external party. Rizal is, a truly, a, uh, Rizal is truly a martyr for demonstrating an unwavering commitment to free the Filipinos from colonial bondage. So we all know that Rizal's death was considered as an impactful episode in Philippine history. Why? Because it was not only in the death of a martyr but also the birth of reforms in society and of course the transformation of the lives of Filipinos. Rizal was charged and put to death for what his enemies considered as subversion. He was also accused of a forming an organization that posted a severe threat to existing social order at that time. So, uh, even the supposed, yeah, even the supposed uh, trial where Rizal could have defended himself was a hoax. Okay, so there was allegedly a preliminary investigation that ran for five days. And after the investigation, Rizal was said to have been informed of the charges against him before a judge advocate. And of course, Rizal was presented with two kinds of evidence, documentary evidence and testimonials, which he could not refute. The documentary evidence included but not limited to the following. First is the letters he wrote to the propagandists and to his family, and the letters he received from them the poem condiman and the masonic document honoring Rizal's patriotic services. And of course, um, the letter signed by Dima Salang, his pen name, which stated that he prepared a safe, a safe refuge for Filipinos who suffered persecution from Spanish authorities. Also, an, an, uh, an anonymous and undated letter to the editor of Hong Kong Telegraph censuring the banishment of Rizal to the Pitan. A transcript of speech of Pinky An, pen name ni Emilio Jacinto, in a reunion of the Katipunan. Also, a transcript of the speech of Tik Tik, pen name naman ni Jose Toriano Santiago, and a poem by Laung Laan, his another pen name, titled Himno Atalisay. Okay, so uh, testimonies against uh, were, Rizal were given by Martin Constantino, Agüedo del Rosario. Yan, Jose Reyes, Moises Salvador, Jose Dizon, Domingo Franco, Diodato Arellano, Pio Valenzuela, Antonio Salazar, Francisco Quison, and Timoteo Paez. Rizal, however, did not know or had not met most of the people included in that list. And of course, we all know that uh, during the trial, Rizal defended himself. Okay? Uh, when he said that he did not question the jurisdiction of the court, but he had nothing to admit on the charges against himself as well as on the declarations of the political matters while in exile. Rizal was immediately sent to trial and held in prison after the evidence were reviewed. Alongside his incar uh, incarceration, his properties were seized as indemnity and he had to pay 1 million pesos instead of a civilian lawyer, an army officer, Luis Taviel de Andrade, and represented Rizal in court. So what he only needed to clarify was the charge or the charge that he dealt with political matters while in exile. Despite all the pleadings, the court voted for Rizal to be sentenced to death. And of course, 
Rizal, alam natin to, Rizal spent his 24 hours in prison cell and during his last hours, he was visited by his family and wrote a letter to his second brother, Ferdinand Blumentritt. Then, in the morning of December 30, 1896, Rizal set on his walk from Fort Santiago to Bagumbayan and where he eventually faced his death. And up to the last minute at Fort Santiago, Rizal defied orders from his captors as he was instructed to face the sea and turn his back against the firing squad. But Rizal wanted to do otherwise. Instead, he faced the firing squad to show his innocence of the charges thrown at him. But the Spanish authorities forced him to face backwards and shot him at the back instead of the head. The shot at the back allowed him to turn his body sideways to fell in the ground with his face upward. And his last word as that of Christ was consumatum est or it is finished. And after 39 years, and after 39 years, uh, from Rizal's death, one significant issue that came out in 1935 was the arg uh, argument about Rizal's retraction of his statement against the Catholic Church and the Spanish government via document, a, hand uh, a handwritten retraction letter allegedly written by Rizal. And up to this point, uh, the, authentic the authenticity of the document has been a subject for a debate. So, wala pang nagpapatunay na legit yung letter na sinulat ni Rizal na binabawi daw niya lahat ng kanyang mga ginawa during that time. So, that's section 2.